artificial intelligence has been dominating the world in 2023. You'd be hard pressed to find someone who hasn't heard of ChatGPT. And businesses are investing in AI like there's no tomorrow. Meanwhile, crypto has been stuck in a rut with skeptics growing louder by the day, questioning its very reason for existence. But what if I told you that AI actually needs crypto to reach its full potential? Would you believe me? Well, you're probably skeptical, but hear me out because today I'm gonna make the strongest case for why we actually need crypto in an AI dominated world. And to understand why, we gotta start with AI's many problems. AI is impressive, there's no doubt about it. But if we look past the initial glamour and hype, we'll see that it has its own set of problems. For example, the centralization of AI is one such issue. The AI landscape is dominated by a few giants like OpenAI, Meta, and Google, which unfortunately is the case because it's super hard to create AI models and it costs an immense amount of resources. So you kinda need a central entity with deep pockets in order to develop and manage AI. But the risk here is that control over this powerful technology falls into the hands of a few people. And they'll have all the power in the world to restrict access or even manipulate the output to their liking. This is especially worrisome, as we've already seen big social media companies arbitrarily kick people off their platforms. So do we really want something as important as AI to befall that same fate? I sure don't. But it's not just about who controls AI, it's also about what they control. You see, our personal data and private information is quickly getting gobbled up into some AI models training data. Some banks are already building their own models using our financial history to predict our future purchasing behavior. And that's just one concerning example from one particular industry. But you can imagine that our internet history, medical history, and basically all our personal data will get fed into these AI models one day. So if you care about privacy at all, then you should be super worried about what's going on in AI land. But while losing our privacy is for sure worrisome, something that worries me even more is a future where we can't tell the difference between human-generated content and AI-generated content. I'm talking about the issue of deep fakes and how they're slowly taking over the internet. I mean, did you hear about that AI-generated Drake song? It was streamed 20 million times before anyone realized that it wasn't made by Drake. So just imagine what more advanced AI algorithms could do when deep fakes become indistinguishable from organic material. AI could make the world's political leaders say literally anything and we'd never know the difference. And foremost in all of our minds has been the loss and the grief felt by the people of Orlando. This could really change the trajectory of the world if bad actors use AI to manipulate elections or financial markets. And that's why I think an existential crisis is brewing because of this. But arguably, there's an even more existential crisis posed by AI, and that's something called the alignment issue. This is the problem of making sure that AI is aligned with human interests before it becomes sentient and can think and act on its own. The reason this matters is because AI is not human, right? So we have no idea how it'll act towards us. When it gets super powerful and takes over the internet and puts itself into robots, will it be friendly towards us? Or will it decide to go all Terminator on us and decide to enslave humanity? Oh. Hell no. Well, there's certainly no shortage of dystopian movies exploring these possibilities, but now that concern is more real than ever, which is why we need to solve alignment ASAP. Anyways, that's enough doomsday scenarios about AI for now, but what does that have anything to do with crypto? Well, the argument here is that crypto and blockchain can be the key to solving some of these problems. Take the issue of privacy, for example. Thanks to something called zero knowledge proofs, privacy concerns in AI may soon be alleviated. This technology allows people to verify sensitive information without revealing the underlying details at all. A real world example of this is WorldCoin, where they apply this tech to the biometric eye scan data that they collect. It allows other entities to authenticate someone without needing to see the actual eye data. So it's protecting our privacy through something called trust minimization, which just means that we don't blindly need to trust that AI models won't misuse our data. We know they won't because we're using things like ZK proofs to ensure the privacy of our data that is fed into the models. 
Anyways, speaking of trust or lack thereof, blockchain and crypto can also be used to battle deep fakes. An easy solution for this is for all user generated content to be signed by the user's private key to prove its authenticity. Just think of this scenario. You have your .eth name tied to your online identity and you use that wallet to sign every tweet you send or every video you post so it has your unique signature. Anyone who wants to see which tweets or which videos were actually made by you can just go check the blockchain for all the entries tied to your digital ID. It's like having a notary for every piece of digital content confirming it's genuine and human generated, which I think is a brilliant solution for deep fakes and it can only be done with crypto. Now, another huge problem for AI is the centralization of its development and maintenance. But perhaps crypto can help with that too through decentralized marketplaces and token incentives. Tokens are not just units of account after all. They can be used to represent rights, functions, and resources, and that can enable collaboration on a global scale. Just imagine developers all around the world collaborating on AI projects and getting rewarded with crypto for their efforts. It'd be a decentralized economy where cooperation would thrive and AI development becomes a collective endeavor. That way we all have a say in what goes on with AI and we don't have to pray that Sam Altman or Mark Zuckerberg have her best interests at heart. But perhaps the biggest problem that crypto and blockchain can help with is the challenge of coordination between AI agents. Imagine a scenario in the future where there's a bunch of semi-autonomous AI agents doing their thing on the internet. Well, they'd probably be interacting with each other, transacting with each other, and perhaps even hiring one another. It'd be an informal AI economy of sorts. But in that scenario, what would they do for payments? Well, I think crypto would be their clear cut choice. It is internet native money after all. And I can't imagine that AI would want to go through the cumbersome KYC processes that were meant for humans, or even integrate with the clunky payment rails of traditional finance. With crypto, all they'd have to do is spin up a wallet and and they'd be able to send and receive payments to each other permissionlessly. Now, so far we've only talked about how crypto and blockchain can help AI on a high level, but did you know there's already some real world companies and projects working on these problems as we speak and some of them you can even invest in. For example, BitTensor and Together are two projects working to democratize access to AI resources and models. As it stands today, access to critical AI resources is still difficult for most builders and developers. So those two projects are working to solve that in their own unique ways. But you can kind of think of their overarching approach as Airbnb for AI resources. Like people can add models or resources to the network, while other parties can tap into or rent those. BenTensor, as an example, has their Tau token, which helps facilitate all of that. Anyways, another area that's closely related to AI is reinforcement learning which may sound complicated, but the point I want to make here is that sometimes reinforcement learning needs human feedback, and that's where crypto can help. Take Hive Mapper, for example. This project gets people to put dash cams in their cars, and when people drive around their cities, that lets Hive Mapper create an ever-updating map. Drivers get rewarded in their honey token, and this is a perfect example of crypto adding valuable incentives to a reinforcement learning system that requires human feedback. But lastly, there's the problem I mentioned earlier about all the millions or even billions of AI agents about to come online and how they need to coordinate and interact with each other. Well, one solution for this is to create marketplaces for them with crypto or blockchain serving as a decentralized coordination layer. There's actually several projects in this area like Fetch Network or Singularity Net, and they're all creating marketplaces so that entities can easily access AI services or AI agents that they need to get some job done. Anyways, this video is just scratching the surface of the synergies between AI and crypto. Honestly, I believe that crypto can unlock AI's full potential in the coming years, which is why I think the crypto critics are wrong and crypto is here to stay. Either way, if you're a fan of AI and are looking for some ways to invest, then watch this video about AI stocks or this video about AI crypto projects.